All right, we'll take three breaths up. Thank you for your patience. I've got my warm fuzzies on because it's cold. Two, hi, and one. Now we're gonna take a squat position just like this. This is a second position squat. We're gonna take 10. The main goal is that your um, heels are heavier than your toes. Your knees are tracking with your second toe. Four, five, six, building the booty and the legs. Five more, four more, three, beautiful, two, and one. Now we're gonna take those legs together. I'm gonna to turn to, your, to my side, put your booty back and then stand up. Put the booty back and stand up. Three, four, Five, and again, your knees track with your second toe. Six, seven, eight, beautiful. Nine, knee tracks with the second toe. 10, and now heel raises, so both heels come up, and all the toes have equal weight. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Gorgeous. Now we're gonna grab our Dyna band. So grab one Dyna band. We'll take the band overhead. I'm gonna change the camera scene just a little bit. Take your arms overhead, pull your arms down, pull the band down, and two, good. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see that the low back is just in its normal curve. You're not letting it curve any more than usual. And exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, try five more. You can see how the shoulder blades are down the back. Four, beautiful. Three, neck is long. Two, now let the arms go down and give rolls in the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now take the band out front, pull to your chest. Two, now if you'd like to add on, take a bit of a, a second position and hold. Good, now if that's not for you, just stand straight up. All right, let's do 10 more. Your wrists are fairly flat. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come back out, give yourself a little shoulder roll. Take the band behind, right around your uh, shoulder blades. All right, same thing. If you'd like to add on, you can take a little wide squat and hold. You can press out. Now, if you're wanting a little more challenge, stand up and push your arms out to the corners of the room. Sit down, squat, stand up, push your arms. Four. And remember, you can just stay still in the legs, five, or you can stand still, vertical knees, uh, long thighs if you want. Good, exhale. If you need more slack, just take it now. Eight, we're gonna do 20. Nine, neck is long. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's great. Now we're going to take a stretch with the band. So go up and behind. Up, your shoulder blades are gliding. Five, beautiful. Four, three, two, one more. Oh, that's wonderful. Now take your hands in the front. Now this time the palms are facing up. You're gonna open up. With external rotation, you're working the muscles on the back of the shoulders. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then relax. Now I'm going to take one hand off the band. You can take two if you want, but basically this is a way to release tension. It's almost like your arms are drawing in the wind. Four, three, two, and one. Now arms overhead. Your shoulder blades are still down the back. The right elbow is going to tricep press. Now that's three. If you'd like to add on four, lift your heels. Five, six, Good, seven, beautiful, eight, knees are long but soft, nine, 10, shoot for five more, even if you have to give yourself more slack, five, four, three, two, now one more. Now relax your shoulders just a little bit, relax your feet and ankles. Now we're gonna take the arms up, this is the bow and arrow on the other side, push out, your wrists are fairly flat, once you feel like that's going well, lift up your heels. Four, five, good. Six, beautiful, Michelle. Seven, you can feel your tricep. Eight, resist on the way back. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 and then let that go roll your shoulders perfect we're going to take the band underneath our feet yes it's about time to grab a sip of coffee in it bicep curl both hands bend your elbows you're facing the palms towards each other that that uh, hammer grip we talked about four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let that go. Take your hands kind of like a Y. Make sure you have room behind you. Go back and five. This is for stretching. Four, if it's too hard, let your hands go wider. Three, two, and then find a place that feels like a great stretch. Five, four, three, two, inhale and exhale. Let that go. Take your right hand and your right foot. Your right foot's gonna step on the band, your square. You're gonna push forward, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven. This is long. Twelve. This is uh, working. Fifteen. But you're not contracting your traps. Now give yourself a little more room. Go to the side. Same arm, but the hand is just ahead of your torso. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, long arm, nine, and you're making sure not to lean. 10, 11, and take the other one. Now this hand, this foot. You're gonna go forward first, one. Stand tall, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, looking good, 14, long arm, 15. Now give yourself a little more slack and then out to the side, but the band is still ahead of your body. Three, long wrist, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, long neck, 11, good Betty, 12, 13, 
14, good, Tara. And 15, good, give a little shoulder roll. Now we're gonna take that stretch where you look like a field goal post and just hold five, four, three, two, inhale and exhale. And then your right hand is gonna take the band behind you. Let your left hand hold on to your lower back and good, inhale. Now on your exhale, push up. One, two, three, four, five. Your ribs are tucked a little, six, seven, when the arms are overhead, eight, it's easy to get to sway back, nine, 10, so you're keeping a little tone in your abs, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, go for five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, this side, left hand, right hand to your low back and push up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, take a little breather. That was really good. We're gonna grab a uh, seated position. So grab a sip of uh, drink if you need, and we'll go seated. Now, once you're seated, we're gonna take the zippers. Take the band around your feet and make sure there's even tails. Cross the, the strap, good. And you're gonna, look how I kind of flip my palms up, but my wrists are neutral. Glue your elbows and then wrist are straight. So this is the second set of extra rotation, but you know how forward we are in life. This is gonna counteract the forward nature. That spine looks beautiful, the way you're upright and your ears over the shoulder. Your wrists are pretty flat. Good. You can change up your arms. If you need a different position, please do. All right, five, four, good. Three, beautiful. Two and one. Now choke up on your band. And if you have two bands, you can even use two bands. Bend your elbows and pull. Now this is more like you're rowing. Exhale. Notice how the neck is still long. This is great for back strengthening. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Good, like how the shoulder blades are down the back. 12, beautiful. 13, 14, 15. You're standing tall, or sitting tall. 16, so your posture work, muscles work. working. If you feel like you're leaning back, sit on a block or a pillow or a book. Now we're gonna take the right arm and pull and rotate your spine. Now your left arm, rotate. Now exhale and rotate. Most of the rotation happens at the thoracic spine, the part of the spine that is between the shoulder blades. The neck is gonna go along for the ride and the lower spine is gonna rotate a little. The majority is coming from the thoracic. It's like you're an old fashioned barbershop spiral. You're rotating around an imaginary stick, your spine. We're gonna take four more as you pull the arm, four. Exhale, three, exhale, two, and one. Now we are going to take our hands towards the end. I still got mine crossed. Now look how my arms are a little below my shoulders. They're not higher. And my pinky side of my hand leads the way. Now lift up tall, you got it. Betty, I think you should grab more of your tail. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, there you go. See if that, because it's a long lever. Yeah, see if that's better. Mm -hmm. Pull, good, pull, good. Yes, you got it. If it's too hard, just go further out on the band. It's a tough one, yeah. 
All right, four, three, good, two, and on the one, take a momentary release. Your arms are gonna go up and over. Now, this is not an aggressive stretch. This is a gentle hamstring and upper and a back stretch. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Come back up and you're gonna uncross the strap. Now, hands towards the end again. I like to make a, an X here. So we're gonna make one arm go higher, one arm go lower. Uh -huh. And if you have any shoulder issue, just the, have the higher arm only go to parallel to the floor. That's fine. You're gonna be tall, good. It's almost like a diagonal pattern. <sighs> Feet are um, staying still. The, the band is on the arch part of the foot. All right. Good, nice Sarah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now this stretch, you can put your feet soles together and inhale and exhale. Now your elbows can push down, let your neck soften. And grab a sip if you need to as well, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. Gently come back up. Let your hands come to the edge of your band again. Put your feet, your, wrap, your uh, strap is near your foot. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me a little bit. Your palms are facing each other. Use your abs to roll down. Now, if your low back's tight, bend your knees a little more. Bend your elbows and straighten. Now, this is a bicep curl, but you've also got your abs involved. So you can manipulate this by maybe going down another inch. See if that makes you feel like more abs, good. Or maybe lifting your upper arm, that makes it harder. Belly is exhale your belly in every time you exhale, good. You're activating your abs and your biceps are working. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, gently come back up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a stretch out like a big V. So take your legs pretty wide. Get your flesh out of the way. Take an inhale. Exhale, go right down the middle. Neck softens, relax your neck. Mm -hmm. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and inhale, and exhale. We're gonna take the right hand to the left knee and go over. And if you can grab your foot, great. If not, don't worry. There you go. Yeah, you got it. And it's okay to rotate a little forward and back or sway. You may find a little different angle around that shoulder. These are so good for the shoulder and also the back. Now, if you're um, breathing into the ribs, you're gonna feel them expand. Take another inhale. And exhale up. Arm up and over. You might rotate, you might rock. Five, good. Four, three, two. Now take another inhale. 
Now on the exhale, when you come back and you go down the middle, you can usually feel that you're a little more relaxed. Enjoy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, here comes the kitty. 3, 2, and inhale. And then come back. Uh, that was wonderful. All right, we're going to add on. So let's get some weights. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to come back to uh, lying down position. We're going to do a chest press. So I'm going to turn this. You're going to be doing a chest press. So what that means probably is anywhere from three to 12 pounds. And you're going to be lying on your back. Your feet are on the floor. If you have a weight bench, you can use that too. The feet on the floor cue is so that the low back has a uh, little safer place. The ribs are down, and you're going to take your inhale to put your elbows about 90 degrees. Your exhale pushes the weight up, and your inhale bends the elbows. Good. And exhale, push. Good. Inhale, and exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 and then let those down now we're going to change it up a little bit put your knees up like there's a, a table underneath them take your fingertips underneath and we're going to take a rotational abdominal crunch shoulder blades off the mat point the foot rotate now we're going to add a pull the toe back 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three, two, one. Now hug the legs, that was great. We're gonna do another one of those types of uh, abdominals. So this is a lift up your shoulders, hug the right leg in. Now hug the left leg in. Single leg stretch, right and left. Inhale and exhale and 10. Good, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Belly pulls in, four. Good, three, look down the toes, two, one wonderful so we mixed in some abs now we're going to go back to our chest this one looks like this it's a chest fly you may need a little lighter weight or you might be able to do the same weight and just do more reps or fewer reps if you need to adjust so with the um hands over your sternum your elbows have a bit of a roundness to them a soft open up and exhale you see i'm modifying it first i'm not going even down but your upper arm your humerus might touch the floor here the main thing is your shoulder blades don't uh, push forward and your ribs don't come off the mat. You've got this little rib press towards the floor. Your inhale opens you. And your exhale pushes the weights together. Exhale. Inhale open. And exhale. Inhale open. So this is where I was saying if you're getting fatigued here, then you can finish out your reps. Otherwise, let's do five more together. Inhale, horizontal reduction is chest. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let that go. And we're gonna go back to our abs. Lift up your legs, hands behind your head. Up, oh, let me adjust my camera just a bit. Okay, legs lower and lift, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest, hands to the knees, circle them. Go the other way. Great. Now this is double leg stretch. Lift up your shoulders, open up, inhale and hug. Inhale and hug. Open and hug. Stretch and hug. 
four, three, two, and one. And then rest, you can rock a little right and left here. Good, because it's winter, we're gonna do cross country skier. Lift up your legs, take your left hand behind your head, right hand goes to your uh, outer foot, left hand goes to your right outer foot. Oops, and rotate, and rotate. Eight, seven, six, belly in, five, shoulder blades up, four, three, two, recover. Hands to the feet, let the knees go wide. And if you wanna rock a little bit in this down table, you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's do one more, legs up, hands here. Now you could do a regular crunch. Let's do three. Now do a lower up pelvic pubic bone coming off. Notice I'm not kicking my legs. My knees are the same. Good. Yeah, Betty, we're going to put them together. So when you're ready, both. But if you can't do both, choose one to do. Come up. Pelvis and shoulder blades. Up. Yep. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Perfect hug. And then we're gonna roll over and take a hands and knee position. Now this weight comes underneath you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna pull one arm like you're picking up a suitcase or you're starting a long mower. Four, good. Five, you got it. Six, seven, eight, back is nine, supported. 10, same arm, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That hand comes down, do the other. One, two, good. Three, belly pulls up. Four, good, Sarah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Head is in line with your shoulder. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we're going to take a child pose. You can get rid of the weight for a minute and just take a lower back stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, move the weights just a little bit. Elbows on the mat. And we're going to count up, hold that. A plank. One, two, three. Yeah, nothing fancy. Four, chin up a little bit, Betty. Five, look down. Look down, six, 10, 11, 12, 13, lift your ribs a little, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, energize the legs, 29, 30, rest. Pelvis is on the floor. Press the hands up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to either do that um, swan again, or if you have a foam roller and you prefer to use that, we're going to use that with the swan. Elbows on. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, go up and down. And go up and down. yeah, we'll do 10. Good. So, do, yeah, when you get there, do 10. Uh huh. Inhale and up and down. Good. We'll do a few more to give you that time. Five more. The pinky side of my hand is pressing down to tell my serratus to kick in. Going higher. Inhale. Three. 
Good. I like the way you adjust when you need to. Two. Now we're going to hold this one. Stay up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And exhale. Wonderful. Go up one more time now. Lift up. Pause. If you want to add on, left hand to the hamstring, right hand to the hamstring. Left arm to the hamstring, right arm to the hamstring. Shoulder blade stability in the arm that's on the roller. Upper back rotation. Four, three, two, and one. Lift up. And exhale, lower. Beautiful. Take a child pose. Now, if you want, you can put your arms on top of the roller, and that'll give you a little more chest stretch. Five, four, three, two. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to use that roller to put under our shins. Elbows down. We're going to do a bit of a pike here. So inhale. And we're going to lift our hips up one. Good. Keep the knees pretty long if you can. Two. A trick here is if it, the rollers on your bones is to um, internally rotate the legs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Now on the eight, there's this neat little child pose you can do with your shins on the roller. Yeah, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna do a uh, knee under, so it's called the inchworm. So go out and then pull your knees under. Now you may have to adjust a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, and you're adding the obliques, that's fun. And eight, rest. Good, now you can bend your elbows if you like to make it a tricep, five, stretch, four, three, two. Now let's do obliques, and if you did obliques earlier, just do the straight under. So you're gonna take your knees to the side, curl the knees under, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest. Child pose, good. The next one's gonna be the oblique with the pipe. So we're gonna lift our hips to the corner. Go out long, lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rest, child pose. Really good. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, elbow down, side plank. So let your elbow be on the floor, lift up, and hold. 10, nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower the hips. All right, let's do the other side. I want to at least hit those obliques some. And elbow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Inhale and exhale. Lower. Now put your feet on top of that roller. You're going to do a bridge with your feet on the roller. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, curl up and lower, and curl up and lower, and up and lower, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, good, nine, now stay up, check that both hips are level and push the roller in and out a little bit. That's gonna feel like more hamstrings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, lower down, and take your hands to your feet. Now this is gonna be happy baby. Five, four, three, two, good. Now put the feet like a little diamond. Take your hands up. Now one hand goes on one side of the diamond and one hand goes through. Inhale, good, Michelle, you know what I'm gonna do. Good, all right, good. Uh-huh, you're switching sides. Reach, 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 and reach. Four, three, two. Now both hands in the middle and just reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take a hand to your leg position. Now we're gonna take our feet on the floor for just a moment. Reach your hands towards your knees, lift up. Now your hands are on either side of your knees. You're gonna reach and then reach. So reach to the left, reach to the right, reach. Imagine now four more, three, two, and now hands over your knees. Act like you're climbing a rope. Your left shoulder blade comes off, your right shoulder blade comes up. You're gonna feel that rotation. Climb the rope that is over your knees. Act like someone's pulling you out of the tar pits. Or quicksand, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a full body stretch. It's okay if your roller's on top. Good. Now, um, get the roller underneath your calves. If it isn't already, take an inhale. And on your exhale, go up and over your roller. Your roller will move. Your roller will move when you go back. Exhale, go up, roll, and your roller will move. That's fine. Inhale and exhale. This is the roll up. Now, if you can, add on knees, bend, inhale, and then push out. Knees bent. Good. And push up. Yes. It's a little harder, isn't it? And knees in. Now, when you lift up your torso, your legs go long. That's okay. You're doing it the other way. We're going to switch it anyway. Inhale. And exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Now, when you're up, pause. Bend your knees. Okay? Now, if you need to do a partial roll down, then just do a partial roll down. But if you can go all the way down, stretch. Now exhale, hug. And Peggy, if your floor is too hard, I know it's wooden, you can grab another mat and make it more comfortable in your sacrum. So two mats, inhale. I know these roll-ups on a wooden floor, I like to have a thick mat or have two, four, three, Two, and one. Wonderful job. All right, we're gonna take a little mermaid stretch. So take your feet in a double triangle. Right hand, and five, four. Uh, take your, yes, perfect. <laughs> All right, now you are welcome to add little rotations if you want. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, hand behind you, add rotation. Five, four, three, two. Inhale, switch up those legs. Good, reach that top elbow. Sarah, see if that makes it even feel better. Yeah, act like I'm pulling your arm. There you go. Breathe. And that hand comes behind you and add rotation. Look over your shoulder. Five, four, three, two, and 
blood. Perfect. Back to the abs. You see it's a core move today, huh? So take your roller underneath your knees, or sorry, your shins. And we're gonna do four points of light. Four points of light is like the plank at first. So start with your plank uh, closer, uh, so underneath your shins. You're gonna pull in neutral, rotate left, neutral, right, center, go back. Pull your knees under, turn right, center, left, center, go back. Pull your knees under, go left, center, right, center, go back. Pull your knees under, right, center, left, center, go back. Pull your knees under, turn, center, turn, center, go back. Knees under, turn, center, turn, center, and rest. Five, good job. Yeah, any way you want, it's fine. Five, four, three, two, and inhale. And exhale. So let's go back to a side plank elbow. Your hands are here, you're up. Now inhale, exhale, take eight rotations. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, let that hip down. Let's switch it up. This foot, roller, side plank, hand up, inhale, exhale, one, two. Lift that bottom hip to make sure it's active. Bottom arm is vertical, hips are still. Nice, booty down, ankles on. Reverse plank, fingers towards your booty, lift up, 10, nine, eight. You can tuck your chin just a little, Sarah, look at your toes, five, four, good, three, good, two, and one, lower your booty. Now, if you need a step, grab a step. You can stand up if you feel comfortable. I'm gonna do a seated, bicep curl. So let me tilt my screen up a little bit. All right, good. And um, you're going to inhale. Yeah, good, Sarah. Up. You're welcome to stand up. It's okay. I'm just going to stay low. Good. It's fun to maximize the position, isn't it? So I like how you did that, Michelle. You turned your hands to be what works for you. So I'm going to demonstrate both. And this is a hammer grip. But notice, no matter what I do, my shoulder blades are down the back. Our shoulder blades are down the back. We're never poking forward. So it's okay what you do. Just make sure your alignment is good in the shoulder blades and that nothing hurts, right? Okay, five and exhale, four. I'm gonna change it. Three, we'll review the abs. Two. And one. Now I'm going to let these just be out of the way for a moment. Take your arms like a big T. Pull the fingers back. I feel good. Five, four, three, two. Release. Now I'm still seated. If you want to change it up, you can. Take your right arm. My left, the left hand is really nice to have here as a way to uh, verify that I've got my ribs over my pelvis. They're not poking forward. There you go, Betty. Yep. Five. There you go. Six. Your head is uh, here in line with the shoulder. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. You're not swaying. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Go ahead. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Now this hand takes it. Mm -hmm. It's fresh. Notice how it doesn't, it's not sore at all after the other one was getting really sore. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
and 15. All right, we're gonna take a stretch. Take your arms like a cow face posture. You can do it seated or standing. Good, yeah, up on your boot, uh, shins is good too. Five. This has gotten easier over the months that we've been doing remote together. I've noticed you all look better at it. A frequent practice definitely helps this one. Inhale. Gosh, that looks good. If you need to shake it out, do otherwise, other side. Okay, here we go. Lift up. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, good, inhale, and then exhale, let that go. Now you can stay seated if you want, or you can stand up. Take away anywhere from three to eight pounds. You can take your uh, arms here and press up. Now you can also do the seated in the chair with the back. I'm not going so heavy that you should feel you're swaying. Three, ribs over the pelvis. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, 10, and maybe that you need to rest, that's okay. 11, good, zero. 12, I have a perfect view of you. 13, 14, 15, perfect. Let those shoulders go. Now I'm gonna pop up on my shins and do a set of upright rows with your, um, standing is fine, or you can be, uh, you're gonna be on the shins. Peggy, if your floor is uncomfortable, you can double up your mat underneath your shins, but it's almost like you're to become a big parka. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Let's do five more and then we'll do a little roller. Five, four, beautiful. Three, two, you're making sure your wrists don't hurt. <laughs> and one. Now I'm going to put these over in the, in the uh, weight tree. And we're going to take this roller. Try your upper back. I'm going to tilt this down. So take that roller behind your upper back. Lift your booty up the floor. And then go back. All right, this is extension. Or flexion. Or both. That looks great. You see your hands have your neck, your head, so your neck doesn't get sore. You can go left. And right. Lower and on the shoulders is good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And come up. Let's hit that IT. Michelle, I remember you said this one was really useful for you. It's a surprise sometimes because you don't really feel it hurting, but then when you start rolling it out, you realize, oh, my knee feels better when I do this one on my hip. So I really like the IT band. It's also a hard area to stretch. It responds better to foam roller. And you see how my elbow is almost like a plank. I've got some tone here. I'm not collapsed in the shoulder. The bottom foot's off the floor. And you can deviate back a little like you're looking at the ceiling or deviate forward like you're looking at the floor. 
And just see, is it tight? Most likely the answer is yes, <laughs> it's tight. You can uh, pause on a space, like let's say there is a particularly painful spot, I have one here. It's just an exquisite point of pain, maybe the size of a nickel. I can take 30 seconds to 90 seconds. And there's another breathing, breathing, exhaling. Four, get a little bit of that lateral quad. Three, two, and one. We'll see how that feels. My knee's freer and it really wasn't even bad before, but I can just feel it. So how does yours feel? See your other side, elbow down, almost like a plank. You've got that tone around the shoulder blade. I like to take that bottom foot off the floor. So I have more weight, but the foot on top, it kind of, it helps you take some of the weight off of the roller leg. Good. Go back and forth. Good. Breathing, rolling forward, rolling back, forward, good, and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, there's a TFL up there at the pocket, five. Four, good, Betty, I know you found a spot. Three, <laughs> two, good, and inhale, and exhale. Now, if you need to keep rolling, please do. I wanna offer the lay down on your back roller posture. It's just a great one to relax. Your booty goes on one end. Your arms can open up like a T. You can even add on a bound angle with this one. So you're, you're relaxing. Your shoulders are relaxing, good. Now, if you move a little right and left, you can massage the rhomboid muscles. Um, my back goes inward thoracically, uh, rhodotic, so I don't really feel it. Um, but the back of your skull has the occipital ridge where some of the muscles attach that influence the neck health. So that's a really nice one. And then here, the sacrum, you can feel some massage happening there. Relax, let go, and breathe diaphragmatically. Feel your belly expand. Relax the face. Relax the shoulders. Relax the ribs. Relax the sacrum. Notice how you feel and slowly come up to a seated position. Looking up through your spine. Good. And take a moment to let your eyes soften. You can take a hand to your heart and the other one on top and just notice how you feel in your mind, your body, and your breathing. Eyes closed or soft, diaphragmatically breathing. So the parasympathetic system is helping you soothe and calm. Anytime you need it, you can access this place of peace, your inner self without your identifiers and your labels. 
Notice how that feels to have that sanctuary. Your own healing cave. When you're ready, let your eyes open, come back into the room. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much.